Week two of Operation 400 is in full effect. If it keeps going the way we, it's going, we have to call it Operation 500. Here's part of Tom's shoulder day. You know, just getting some getting some lateral raises in to get that. Um, in case he wants to take up the Chippendale stage, we got to have him ready. But this is really just, um, I mean, after he did some heavy presses, um, here he is hitting some calves presses for his triceps. Looking very, you know, so right now, again, we're in the mass building phase. We're trying to, we're going to, we're eventually going to convert Tom to power. But obviously that uh, for someone at six foot eight, um, that added mass is going to be extremely important in, to improving his leverage for power. Here's another part of Tom's shoulder workout. And um, this was um, when he did six sets, or excuse me, 10 sets of six reps. And he, um, he supersetted the, those uh, overhead presses with uh, neutral grip pull-ups of nine reps of those body weight. And um, he'd, take, uh, he'd take him two and a half minutes between each of these sets. So we're actually getting him, you know, some recovery. But it's not like he gets a full-on recovery and, you know, it's, it's in between. Because we, we, we do want to induce that metabolic stress. We're going for hypertrophy here. Here he is, banging out some more overhead presses, some more pull-ups. So not only is Tom heavy at, uh, you know, closing on 330 pounds, he's also six foot eight. So, you know, a lot of people with either of that going on wouldn't be able to do any single, any pull-ups. You hungry, anybody? Take a look at one of Tom's meals. Okay, so here's the um, Tom performing the Hatfield squats. And um, he did a better job of hitting depth because uh, it's, it's harder for a lot of taller guys to get down. So he did a much better job. Of hitting depth, he's going at 625 here uh, for two sets of five, keeping his strength up. And he, he followed that actually with um, 10 sets of 10 reps with a two and a half minute break um, on the dead stop leg press. Then he did four sets um, of 35 meters backward sled drags uh, with 90 second break with 556 pounds. That was in the morning session. The afternoon session, he hit. 190 for five sets of five reps, leg curls with the toes pointed in, followed by uh, split stance, Romanian deadlifts, 205 pounds for three sets of five reps. And then he, then glute ham raised with five second negative. He went seven, six, five with in descending order there with a two minute break. And then he finished off with some landmines. So here is Tom hitting some dips. This was part of his chest section after, after he did uh, he did uh, he did six sets of ten reps on bench press, supersetted with ten sets of ten seal reps. He rested ten minutes, then he finished off with these dips. These are with 120 pounds over his body weight. So Tom is getting stronger. His strength's not where we need it yet, but it's definitely improving as his physique. So later on that that day, he came back in the afternoon. He hit some hammer strength in incline presses. He went. Um, so last week, you know, initially he had done, you know, some failure sets. So this time, uh, up the reps on everything, didn't increase the weight, but made him go, you know, add about two reps to each set he'd done for failure. He nailed them all. After that, he went to um, dumbbell pause, floor flies, hit, hit some incline cable flies, and then of course finish off with the ultimate body weight finisher, the Wars Valley. 20 push-ups that's a wars valley 20 push-ups is a hell of a challenge if you weigh you know 128 pounds let alone 328 pounds so it's all coming to be together it's it's uh jokingly but at this rate it would be operation 500 obviously you know we're ahead of schedule and appreciate you you taking the time to watch us